Hi hey guys. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate these two shafts to the point where the gears are actually making that growling sound and then I'm going to leave them there, take the top off the housing and see if I can find exactly where that grinding is coming from. So here we go. You hear that? Right there. So we'll do it again. Right there. All right, so it looks like I'm going to need a 3 8 inch socket. So I'll be right back. Okay, first we're going to loosen them all. Might as well do a circular pattern. Looks like there's two, four, six, eight, ten, <laughs> and one is snapped off. Oh, well, that'll be interesting. We'll get that out. So we'll just... So somebody's been in here before. That's too bad. Let's make sure they're all just loose now. Another parts tray. Let's go. Are you with me? Taping away. may have to take the brake assembly off too. Yeah, one snapped off. We'll get it out. Okay, now I'm going to just... I don't know if I should remove the brake or not. I think I will. Do it. Take this off too. Let's just see if it does it again. Right there. Okay, the brake puck should still be in there. So that's it. Hmm. Oh, there, there it is. Should be one on each side. There they are. They look pretty good, actually. Good. So that that just sits in there like that and provides the stopping power. Can you guys see that? off because we're going to need to get it off. Yeah, and this is a clip. I think I can get that off too. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to get this uh, clip off of here. Come on. This snap ring 
clips exactly together. So there we go, got it. And then this last washer should come off of there. I'm going to do this. Stack them up like that. Oops. Good. I think I can break this in half now. Tap. There we go. Are you ready? So much like I expected, the grease is just laying in there. It's not lubricating anything anymore. It's going to be dirty. Okay, let's start lining this stuff up. Tree. Right about this part in here, the gear. All right, I'm going to just pull this uh, axle assembly out of here. There's a bit of slack in there. Now I'm going to just try and get this gooey grease out of here. See if there's anything laying in the bottom causing that to chatter. So I'm going to just get a little pail. out of here. So right over here is that bolt that did, that's been snapped off in here, eh? There it is, it's going to come out too. So what did the previous guy do? Okay, let's start working this. Oh. <laughs> start working this out. Nothing hard yet. Mm 
but this loose stud may have something to do with it. I'm sure some of you experienced guys that take these apart all the time already know what's wrong. But now that I've got this half-assed thing out, I'm going to put it back together again. There, that looks a little bit better. Might as well wipe off the housing too. Huh? Okay, well you guys are probably getting bored of watching me do this. Alright guys, I found the problem. You guys remember this? Uh, oh well. And uh, when, when this bolt comes around the front, it makes a crunching sound. Right there, do you hear that? So I, I'm going to zoom in on these gears right here. See right there, those gears are, are rounded off, and just back four inches, they look great. So something got in there, and that right there has spelt the demise of this machine. I'm done. I'm going to part it out. I'm going to take the motor out and the deck, which are the two things that are in good shape. I rebuilt the deck. Oh, you might have seen that on uh, YouTube. And I'm done with this guy. It's going to the metal recycler. I have put, although, you know, so sometimes you just end up, the more you learn, the more you work. And uh, the, this little tractor has put me through the mill. So it's going away. But it'll be a great parts tractor. So that's it guys. That's interesting eh? From there to there. It's quite a difference. And then when it rolls past oops, when it rolls past right here You'll hear it. You hear that? Now I could file these off and tack it back together and sell it to some unpoor suspecting soul, but I don't run that way. And I live in the city and I'm actually not much of a tractor mechanic. I do, I've done, you know, a dozen or so over the years, but I'm not a a lawn tractor guy and I do live in the city. So that's it. Thanks for watching this one.